All right, g'day guys, and welcome back tonight to a Realmworks video, this time on creating a custom calendar. Uh, custom calendars is a bit of a swear word amongst the Realmworks community, as uh, I'm sure many of you will be aware, because uh, it's a long overdue uh, functionality that everyone wants to, uh, to actually create custom calendars within Realmworks. We don't have it yet though, so, um, you know, time has passed and uh, I've gone about basically looking for ways and means to create my own custom calendar. Because at the end of the day, there's nothing much to a calendar, really. It's just literally uh, a way to sort of show the players, um, you know, a bit of a transition between the days and the months and the weeks. And um, you can throw in some extra elements like moon phases and, uh, you know, use that sort of to align different days and things. So I've gone in a way that, you know, I've gone in with that, that, that mentality. And I'm sure there's people swearing at the screen and going, oh my God, there's, there's way cooler things you can do. Um, I'm not a DM that tracks like, you know, the, the wave cycles and, you know, the impact the moon has on the world. My players have never asked me what day it is when I'm playing. So for me, this is just an added extra to sort of make it nicer and to sort of keep track of when some events are coming up. So I've gone with that that perspective. I've gone with, let's just make something that's usable that I can use to keep track of what day it is um, and keep track of some events that are coming up. You know, pretty much what I use a calendar for in real life. So let's jump over and have a look. All right, in front of me, you can see I've got Realmworks. Um, I've got it preset up here with a nice pretty uh, sort of uh, image. So I've got a picture on the left it's a smart image, so I've got it in the same functionality as a map. And then I've just basically got a topic on the right that's been linked that has the calendar. Um, and I've got to say, I'm pretty happy with how this looks. Um, I've never done anything sort of this sort of pretty in Realmworks um, with regards to what this is doing. And um, for anyone who can't tell by looking at it instantly, it's a huge table. So I'll click in edit and I'll, I'll just click in here and I'll just uh, come into layout and close view grid lines just to give you an idea of what's going on here. So it's a massive table and quite a complex table. Um, and for anyone who's worked with tables in Realmworks, it's not exactly user friendly. Um, it's, you know, this is the sort of thing that I probably would never have done if I was just working with Realmworks. All right. So that's the big tip on how to do this is, I've not actually done this in Realmworks. I've not actually even done this at all. I found this on the internet and I've taken it and I've put it to good use and I've put it into Realmworks and it's worked perfectly. But the point of the bare matter is that you could do this yourself quite easily. So what I did is I did some Googling for a calendar of Harptos, which is the Forgotten Realms calendar. Um, and I found this that had been uh, provided by one of the, uh, the generous users on the, of the World Wide Web. Um, and he's got it hosted on his Google Docs drive. Um, and you can see here that this is literally just a spreadsheet that's been made to look pretty. So you could do this in Excel. You could do this in Google uh, Sheets. You could do this in uh, whatever the, the open office variant of it is. You could do it in pretty much anything. Um, and for anyone who's familiar with uh, working with spreadsheets, it's not really that hard to figure out. Um, you know, if we were to highlight all of this and Somehow, it's been actually so long since I've used this. Oh, I can't actually modify, it's in view only, so I can't change. But if I, if I was to turn on all the grids, you'd actually see that this is literally just cells that have been readjusted and shaped to make it look pretty. So that would be my first tip. You step away from Realmworks, open up a spreadsheet, create your calendar, change the formatting and the font, use your lines and your borders to make something pretty. Um, because what we can then do is the cool bit. We can basically take a cut and paste of the whole thing and go back to Realmworks and we just go into a normal topic and go control V and paste the whole thing in. All right, that's, that's the, the secret tip. Do it somewhere else and paste it in and it works really well. Um, now, you can see I've gone through and added this. So once I'd pasted it in, I basically came in here and I turned the grid lines on so I could see what I was working with. I added some extra lines, all right, just by coming in here and going insert below. And I merged some cells. You can see they, they came out like this and I've merged them into some big ones down the bottom. Um, I hit merge cells, which is up here. Uh, pro tip, when you do use merge cells, it seems to put a line or a 
break line in for every cell you delete. So just to show you what I mean by that, if I go insert below and then I do this and I merge those, I can't replicate what I was doing last night. There you go. I did this over and over again and it did it every time. But all right, well, that's a good thing. So we'll just pretend I didn't say that. Um, delete the entire row, went back to home. But um, so what I've done is I've got topics um, for the events. Um, I've basically created them just like you would normally. Um, so if we come up here, I've actually got one massive topic that has all of the events in it. Um, and then what I've done is I've used the manage names up here um, to create a name for every event name. And what that does is that allows me to then link to it. So in here, my calendar has the names of the events um, and it just creates a link and now I can click it and follow it and I can, I can read up about it. So, you know, that works out quite well. I'm quite, quite happy with that. Um, and I could go through and I could add as much or as little detail as I want to this. Um, you can see I've highlighted the, uh, the different holidays that match down here. Um, I've gone through and put in the moon cycles. Now, that's a bit tricky. So I'll just walk you through how I did that. To get that to work, I did have to install a custom font. So what I did is I found this font here which is the moon phases font. All right, so I just downloaded that using that button there. That downloads, just open up. That brings in uh, the moon phases font. So I can just double click on that. And that brings this option here up and you just click install and that will install it on your system. Once you install a font, you do need to restart Realmworks for it to recognize the fact that you've installed the font. But then what you can do is you've basically got the font installed on your machine, all right? And what you you know technically do is come in here and grab your content and actually format it in the font name. So moon phases. There it is, and you can see here you can you can get your different phases of the moon. Now, when you're dealing with these sort of fonts, it's almost impossible to do this without great frustration if you're just going to type. What you want to do is know what symbol you're bringing in without having to type a letter on the keyboard because you'll almost always get it wrong. So we're going to bring up character map. Just uh, press start and type C-H-A-R to bring that up. Uh, I'm working on Windows 10 here, by the way. Um, and you can see here that this comes up. Um, and this is, you know, your character map. You can pick any font that you've got installed and you can come in and pick them. I'm going to pick the moon phases. In this case here, I wanted to go through and get the one that represented the full moon, uh, which is like down here somewhere, I think. Where's that one down there? That one there. Uh, you press select and then copy. And now you can paste that wherever you want. All right. So very simple to do. And that allows you to paste these into here. Now, this is a really cool tip, guys, because there's heaps of stuff out there for different sort of fonts. Um, the biggest one that comes to mind is Wingdings. Um, everyone knows and loves Wingdings ever since we were like 1995 school kids doing things with the printer we shouldn't have been. Um, but what we can do here is obviously put in any font symbol we want in amongst the text. So that's really handy because one of the things about Realmworks is you can't combine text and pictures very easily. This is a bit of a hack that allows you to do that. Um, and I really like the way it's turned out because, you know, I've got the moon cycles here. I've got just enough information to give us the user an indication of what's going on without sort of going over the top. You can see down here, I, I did the same thing. I just pasted different variations of it and made it a bit larger to make it look a bit prettier. Um, and again, this here down here is literally just a, a table all right, with no borders on it just to make it look neat. So... There we go, guys. There's, there's really not that much to it. Um, but that makes a really good looking functional calendar that you can use to track events on your, on your table, right? Now, I know everyone wants full functional calendar, you know, but until we get that, I think this is a pretty good workaround to give you something that's functional, um, something that you could technically make visible to your players, for example. 
so they could access this through the player version. Um, and they would then be able to click and follow the links, assuming that you had made those topics visible as well. They could use this as a perfectly functional calendar within their game world as well. So I, I quite like it. Um, I, uh, I need to spend some more time in it and bring many more dates and times in, but uh, it is what it is. Um, just while we're here, there is a, a uh, another tool that's really handy. If you are working in the uh, Forgotten Realms, I'm just going to bring up my, uh, my history here from yesterday. Um, there's a Forgotten Realms calendar tool. There it is. Here it is. So uh, archive.wizards.com forward slash dnd forward slash fc forward slash index dot htm. That is the uh, Forgotten Realms calendar tool. And the cool thing about this is you can basically come in here, uh, grab the year. So I went with 1492, except um, you can click your calendar and get your, your years out. All right, but it's also got the moon phases. So you can click that and that can give you a really good indication of what the moon phases should be. So um, it also gives you the days where you should have more days in the uh, month. So 31 versus 32, for example, to make the full yearly year run. Um, but I think that's really cool functionality. So uh, certainly consider hitting that up if you are working with the Forgotten Realms. But um, anyway, guys, that's how to make a, uh, a custom calendar. I do hope you find that useful. I just want to turn that off so I don't forget about it. Um, and I'm certainly keen to see uh, some screenshots of anyone who makes their own custom calendars and see if you can improve on the design, guys. I mean, obviously, I stole the design from whoever made that uh, Google Sheets uh, um, calendar. Um, but I think, you know, you could make some really pretty stuff and I think it'll look really cool. And I think your pro players would certainly appreciate using it if you had the player version turned on. So uh, once again, that is how to create a, uh, a custom calendar within Realmworks. And uh, fingers crossed that's useful for your games. And uh, with that said, guys, I will speak to you on the forums. Have a great night.